What's going on everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to the YouTube video. Still looking at the All Army Cyber Stakes or ACI CTF. So this challenge I want to showcase is called Can You Look This Over? It's for 150 points in the miscellaneous category. Uh, at the time recording it has 172 solves. It's Saturday and the game should end Sunday night. So we'll see how many more that gets. It says our ops guy found a malware author staging server. We managed to exfiltrate the source to a back door they're spreading. And they give us a download here. So I'll grab that link location. I need you to report back once you've cracked their secret password. Okay, so let's fire up a terminal. I'll hop on over to a directory here and I'll make a directory for this. Can you look this over? See the end of that guy and let's w get that file down. There we go. It looks like a gzip file, so I'll go ahead and gun zip it and it's still a tar, so let's tar xzvf all on that guy. And there we go. Now we have a backdoor directory with a lot of files in here. Seeming a lot of references to SSH. Um, I care about what this software really is. Seemingly, it's SSH, right? Or open SSH. I want to determine what it actually might be version-wise. So I see this version header file. So let's cat that out just to take a look. Okay, it looks like it's open BSD. Uh, that might just for be for BSD itself. Define SSH version, open SSH 6.3. Okay. So if this is a modified and manipulated version of OpenSSH version 6.3, then I want to be able to take the differences between it and the original OpenSSH 6.3. So I'll try and go scour the internet for a download for OpenSSH version 6.3. Maybe I could download this somewhere. Looks like I have a lot of vulnerability references. I want to download. So if I search for download, does that work for me? Linux from scratch offers it. Slackware seems to have some references. This is just the release page on the OpenSSH website. Can I download it from them? Will they give me their for OpenBSD FTP 8.2? Can I get 6.3 maybe? Oh, well, theirs isn't portable, and the version number on this one is SSH portable. Maybe some of the others might have that. Oh, yeah, OpenSSH 6.3 Slackware, or the Beyond Linux from Scratch one has a download. So let's get that one. And that has the P1 that they reference here as well. So maybe that is good. Let's W get that guy down. Takes a little bit of time to download, but he's cruising through it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and gun zip that open SSH guy and tar to extract him one more time. That should be an X, not a Z. There we go. Okay, so now we have open SSH 6.3. Let's cut out that version number to make sure it's the same. Looks to be. Okay, fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I, I want to be able to like, compare all of these files at the exact same time. It might be kind of dirty, it might be kind of messy, but it might still at least work for me. So if I grep tac r of everything, it'll return literally all the output of all the files that it can get. Uh, and I'm gonna do this inside of the current directory, so it doesn't include that parent name in that file path that's displayed over on the left here. So if I grep all these and I put these in like a parent directory original.txt, so move up. Now I have that original.txt for all of the files in the original source code. I can do the exact same thing in the back door if I grep tech r everything and put that in like theirs.txt or what they kind of offer me. Now I have both the original and the back door all their files and I could compare them kind of easily because grep will allow me to do that since it's all source code, right? So I could potentially just diff the original and theirs and I might be able to see some particularly interesting stuff. I also immediately see a little auth password and it says there's a static character hash, the back door hash, this guy here. So that looks like hex. Uh, I could just steal this and work with it, but I did want to show you another trick and tool. Uh, I really, really like Meld. It's a GUI diff viewer. So if I were to make a file comparison, I would be able to go specify that, can you look this over, the original on the left and theirs on the right. Once I start to compare all of this, uh, Meld will show me everything that's in both files. So I would still be able to see, okay, these lines match on both the left-hand side for the original and the right-hand side for theirs. 
Uh, eventually it should start to find some differences. You can see it's still chewing up there and it's taking a little bit more time to work through it all. But I'll let this go and we'll start to go look at that hash. But I wanna show you where you could potentially see it with that tool as well. Let's grab this hash. Uh, I'm gonna open it up in just Sublime Tech to make a little hash.txt. Uh, I'll drag this down so you can see it. There we go. And let's go remove all those zero X's. Let's remove all of the comma. So let's go ahead and grab this hash and I'll try and crack it online. Uh, I'll use a little crack station just because that's kind of the quick and easy one. If I spit that in there, yep, I'm not a robot, crack hashes. It could not find it. So uh, when I kind of went back to the drawing board and I was looking at the diff here, I know that, well, okay, this is an MD5, theoretically, right? MD5 digest length, we can assume they're using some MD5 algorithm stuff. This has to be MD5. So I tried a little bit more Googling. I did crack MD5 hash online. And eventually I found this little CMD5 guy and that one seemed to work for me. So if I slap that into this, it will decrypt it and that is my hash. It is B B M E zero Y. Yours might be different. Uh, I think they know they were doing some of the randomly generated stuff. So if we were to go ahead and paste that in, this can you look this over challenge, that is the whole flag that you need. It doesn't need the like ACI curly braces and the regular flag format. So that was that, that was that challenge, just being able to simply kind of take a look at the differences here. Um, using all the files all at once, I tend to like that technique because I could really see, okay, this is all of the output from either side um, in any, every single file because there wasn't going to be a ton. And I mean, if there were going to be a ton, then I could look through it with meld, which was awesome. But the auth.c and auth.password were pretty easy to detect once we had the right open SSH version number. So, okay. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. If you could, oh, I stuttered. If you guys did like this video, please do press that like button. If you'd like to leave a comment, that'd be fantastic. If you'd like to subscribe, do all those YouTube algorithm things, I would be super duper grateful. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to support in some other ways, PayPal, Patreon, link in the description. I'm super duper grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love to see you guys on Patreon, Discord, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, all of the social media things. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,